Well, I was starting to wonder if we wouldn't run into one of these today, and, uh, you know. Just as soon as I started thinking that, this is what I found. And of course this is little Echistrodon Contortrix, which is the Copperhead. Let's just go ahead and take a little bit better look at them. And once again, as I always say, uh, when you find venomous snakes like this out in the wild, do not touch them because, you know, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you could end up in the hospital if you touch a little guy like this. This is a pit viper. They do have hematoxic venom, uh, which is going to cause massive swelling, pain, uh, you know, it's going to cause... Uh, erratic breathing things like that you know and I don't mean erratic heartbeat on this guy I mean it's gonna actually call you gives you uh, trouble breathing a wee copperhead lad <laughs> dude and it's very cool and that's why I can do this my little pal here is very calm as you can see a little copperhead a kizardon contortrix hematoxic venom pain swelling nausea all sorts of other horrible things but not deadly in most cases anyhow you know it's a beautiful little beautiful little chap and what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, you know, let him go about his way, but first we're going to put his log back. So anyhow, a nice beautiful little copperhead here, and I think it goes without saying, however I will say it, do not handle these guys like I'm doing here. I've been doing it for years and years, and I've read the situation. I'm going to put this guy down, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and, uh, and go ahead and, uh, you know, put his log back. All right, so I was uh, just walking down the path, and what do you think I found? I found me one of our little copperhead pals. All right, come on, All right, come down, come down. Okay, so anyway, we got our little copperhead guy to stay still. You can see how he's bobbing like that. that uh, that's a sign that he is ready to strike. He's ready to just pounce on me, he's scared. I'm not gonna mess with him for too much because he is scared, but uh, uh-huh, so you gotta keep your distance. But anyway, we're gonna let this guy go about his way. But, uh, you know, we love our copperhead pals. A little Echistrodon Contortrix, man. Look at this little fella. Look at this guy just tucked in this little corner. I want you to see how this works, though. This is what I'm walking up on. So see, got a trail, walking up, log here, log there, and he's tucked all the way up in this little corner. That's pretty cool, honestly. You don't uh, find things like that all the time, but it's pretty neat uh, when, you, when you really spot something tucked away in a little corner like that. I'm gonna see if I can get a better sight of him, but uh, I don't know, he might take off. Well, in that case, I guess we can get to him. Holy poo poo. I guess we can get to him not too hard. There we go. See, because before, like that, uh, like I say, the part of it was wrapped up in thorns. I didn't think I'd get to it. But it turns out I can. There we go. This little guy here. Push his log back so when. I'm done with him, I can just put him back, but let me see. 
Let's see actually about how big he really is. This little fellow. <laughs> hey guy, you're fine. You don't need to worry about anything, fellow. Seeing what just having a look at you here. And again, these guys do have hematoxic venom. This is a venomous snake, you know. Uh, so you don't really want to play with him at all. You know, he is a venomous snake, so you don't want to play with him at all. You know, I uh, fully aware that even though I am quite used to these guys and know their temperament quite well, things can still happen. Accidents can still happen, so I'm definitely uh, going to err on the side of caution, even though it may not look like it to you. Because I know, uh, well, I can read their behavior pretty well, and I handle them on a regular basis, so... Let's get our pal back under his log here. And there he goes, right there. And that's the way we do it. All right, let's see if we can find anything into this log here. Put this here. We're gonna get this there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look what we have there. Another little cozy Kistradon Contortrix. Okay. Chilled out little fellow here. This beautiful little guy here. So you can see his L'Oreal pit right there between the eye and the snout. That is, of course, how they sense their prey through their heat signature, of course. They're very nice, very cool. These guys are awesome. You know, I mean, like I say, they do have hemotoxic venom. All right, yet another. Copperhead. This one's a little bit bigger than the others. We'll see what what he's feeling. I mean, it's so cold that they're all pretty much going to act just generally somewhat the same most of the time. But like I say, you can't be complacent at all, even though it's just really not the temperature for them to be energetic. But like right now, I'm having to finagle them a little bit too much. It's alright, pal. Don't have to be worried. You're alright. You're alright, my pal. Beautiful little copperhead here. His venom is not very commonly going to cause fatality. When I say they're not deadly, that doesn't mean that it's a good idea to go messing with them because they're still venomous. They still have venom. And so, uh, you know, you want to be cautious and definitely. Don't go out there like I am and uh, handling them because, uh, you know, if you're just randomly picking them up, you could uh, end up with a pretty bad surprise that uh, puts you in the hospital. So that wouldn't be very good. But uh, that being said, you know, I, uh, I do go to quite some lengths to uh, study the behavior of our little pals here. So, you know, that's just what I do. So, uh, anyway... I'd like to take a little uh, closer look at this little pal, uh, you know, and uh, here we go. This little pal here, seems a little better whenever I'm behind this, but like I say, this is not something you want to do, um, but I do go to extreme lengths just to uh, study our little pals here, that's what I do. I can't believe that, like seriously, you know, I mean, usually whenever I film a flip I get nothing, but here we are. So we have another, another dude right here, this is probably, say maybe like a year old, let's see, I have to, I have to see, because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell, they're all coiled up like these, let's see, 
on the log here. Have a look at you. This guy is just gorgeous. Look at this guy. Eh? Looking just lovely, isn't he? <laughs> this is a decent sized little one. A little bit more tan than light. Not quite as light as the others, but you know. Still a very beautiful lad. Just admire this little Pallywal. And you see, he is a pit viper, and yes, he's dangerous, but uh, you know, he's not chasing anything like that. Obviously, it's a cool day, but beyond that, they just really don't chase, you know, and uh, all you really have to do is leave them alone and they'll leave you alone. And of course, uh, I'm not doing that at the moment. And, uh, you know, I love them. I love these little pally wows. Going to get him and put him right back underneath his log right here. Go there, buddy.